What's up, witches and warlocks? Puma Fist here. So today we got to talk about Eric July. A little bit. Eric July, Ripperverse. So, checking in to see what's been going on lately. Uh, it looks like he's still got a month to go. A month and like two days. And, uh, <laughs> or three days. And uh, he's, uh, what? At just a little over two mil? So there's a chance he might beat it. There's a chance he might beat it. I don't think it's going to happen. I think he's going to top out somewhere around like 2.3 mil for this one. Yeah, I don't think he's going to beat the record for Isom number one. So, with that being said, I saw a well-read comics bullshit interview with uh, his fluff piece with Eric July. These motherfuckers, man, they never ask any fucking hard questions. What is it with you faggots? Why can't you do that? Why can't you ask some fucking hard questions? When you're doing an interview, you're supposed to stick it to them a little bit, too. It can't just all be fluff. And you're just, you're just pandering. You're just playing along. Um, yeah, any good journalist knows that, you know? You know, you can be nice up to a point, but you gotta stick it in there a little bit. You know what I mean? Get the tip wet. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, so while I was watching this fucking long, boring-ass fucking fluff piece, um, a couple of things uh, stuck out to me. Um, and so we'll just go over those real quick. Uh, the first one was, well, Red was asking him, you know, like, uh, you know, what the, uh, you know, what does he think the industry is, uh, is concerned about with, uh, with uh, Eric July's success, his quote-unquote success. And Eric thinks that the industry is not concerned about Isom at all. This is his own words. But how he's doing business, huh? Dude, it's just a crowdfunder. That, like Marvel and DC and every single other fucking comic book company out there are completely aware that crowdfunders work. You're not doing anything magnificent here. You just happen to have 500,000 subscribers and they're all stupid enough to fork over cash to pay you for a piece of shit. That, that, it's, not, it's not that big of a mystery. So I don't know what the fuck you were thinking about that uh, there, Eric. That's a little weird. That was that was kind of a lame ass answer, you know. If you if you're gonna bullshit like you bullshit all your pay pigs, you know you should have fucking well they're scared about Ison because this character's doing this and this and this and this and this. Yeah, yeah. Should have you should have built it up a little bit more. That was, that was poor salesmanship on your part. <laughs> Talking about how they're scared about how I'm doing business. Get the fuck out of here. It's a crowdfunder. It's a motherfucking crowdfunder. They're a dime a dozen now. Ugh. So anyway, I'm like scrolling through this thing, trying to trying to fucking not fall asleep watching the goddamn thing. And I get to the part where they, they were talking about fucking uh, Matt Brooks and uh, was supposed to meet up with Eric July at the fucking Comic-Con. And then like he backed out and doesn't want to talk to him. Uh, you know, well, that's an there's an obvious reason why. Doesn't everybody remember when, when Gabe El Taib tried to start a fight with him, with Mark Brooks at a fucking Comic-Con? Of course he doesn't want to fucking talk to him. He's where he's going to get his ass kicked. <laughs> he starts talking to Ripa, and here goes fucking Gabe El Taib, who's like a fucking mountain, right? <laughs> Simple enough. So anyway, uh, those were just the, the, the key points that I took away from that long fucking interview. Dude, that interview literally could have been like fucking... 15, 20 minutes. Didn't have to go that fucking long. Um, anyway. So, the future of Ripperverse. I'm, I'm projecting 2.3 mil. 2.3 mil. Now, there might be a slight push right at the end of August, where he might get a little more. High end, he might get 2.5, but mm, you know, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. You pay pigs, you're something else. And you all might just give him more because I said it's only going to get to 2.3, maybe 2.5. That's how your fucking brains operate. You don't give a shit about your fucking money or the product or what you're spending it on. You just want to stick it to somebody. That's, that's the whole point. That's the whole sales pitch that Eric July gave you in the first motherfucking place. Buy my book because I'm sticking it to the comic book industry. You people are fucking nuts. You're out, of, you're out of sync with fucking reality. Unfucking believable So, anyway. It'll be an interesting month. 
there'll be some more videos to come. We'll track the progress here. But, uh, you know, hey, as long as you dummies want to keep fucking forking over your money for a piece of shit, go right the fuck ahead. I'm not going to stop telling you all you're fucking dummies, though. So get over it. Anyway, that's what I got for today. Puma Fist out.